Hey folks, Lee Purcell with Real Rollers, and today we're gonna to do a short video, an easy video, on how to adjust the Revolution 26 from left to right. Now, a lot of folks right now are experiencing some scalping, and generally that's because from May 15th to about August 15th, we get a lot of rain, we get a lot of heat, and the warm season grass gets really, really dense and thick. And real mowers tend to float on top of it. And when they hit a thinner area or a low spot, the mowers tend to shift over and do a scalp mark. First thing we need to do though, is determine whether it is the revolution or is it the grass. Cool thing about the revolution, which is what one reason we think it's just one of the best mowers out there is you can adjust the front roller up and down as well as the rear drum up and down. And it's really pretty simple. And that gives you the chance to really fine tune the mower and get it exactly how you need it. And if you have really steep hills, it could be an opportunity to cherry pick one of these rollers on the front of the back to make sure you're kind of overcompensating in case you have a real, real steep hill and it keeps making lines for you. But let's go through this real quick. So first thing we're gonna do is grab some tools. What I need for this job, I've got my little trusty flashlight, the T-tool that came with your mower to adjust the reel to bed knife, 13 millimeter box wrench, you can use a half inch too, they're the same size. Needle nose pliers, and I got this little chuck. I'm gonna use to block up the mower uh, underneath the bed knife, because I want the roller to be kind of free on the front. So, first thing we're gonna do, let's take a look at the roller and let's see where we sit. So I'm gonna walk over here, and using the end of this T-tool, the box end, I'm gonna use this as my gauge. What I'm gonna do is put it under the bed knife on this side of the mower, the chain side, and lower the mower so that the bed knife sits flat on top of this. And then once I have this side exactly height of cut to the depth of this socket here, I'm then gonna go to the other side of the mower and see if I can slide this socket back underneath the bed knife in the same location. If I can't, that means that side is lower than this side. If I can slide it through there and I see a bunch of air, that means that side is higher than this side. Sure, it's not scientifically to the millimeter or maybe 0 0.001, but man, it's gonna get us really close for the average homeowner. So let's take a look. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise my height of cut so that I can get this tool underneath it. So, I'm gonna raise my height of cut. You can see there's about two or three millimeters of space underneath the bed knife. And I'm using the back of the bed knife versus the front, um, only because the front is curved. And I want some consistency when I measure this. So now that I've got my tool underneath the mower, I'm gonna lower the bed knife, the real mower, I had to cut, so that the bed knife just barely comes in contact with my tool. And I'm gonna move it in and out, as you can see, until I feel friction. There it is. I can barely get that thing in there. So that being said, now, at this exact same location, we'll go to the other side of the mower and we'll try to put this tool right underneath the bed knife. Oh, so as you can see, I'm hitting the bed knife in that same spot I was clearing it on the other side. So that tells me by the looks of things, this side is about a millimeter lower than the chain side. So let me show you guys how to make the adjustment. Real easy. Running back over here, I'm gonna grab my needle nose pliers, my 13 millimeter box wrench. And if you look right here, this nut and bolt combination right through here is how you adjust the height of this side of the roller. The chain side of the roller is fixed. It can't move. But what we can move is this side, we can move it up or down. So let's go ahead and do a quick adjustment. So I'm gonna grab my needle nose and loosen this nut right here. It's got a lock washer behind it. And I use the needle nose because it's kind of narrow behind this pointer. I'm going to get it kind of loose. Now that it's kind of loose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the entire mower up a little bit. And if you come right over here, you can see I can make this roller go down and up. It's sliding in this slot. So right now, this roller's up as high as it can be compared to the other side. If I push it down, you can see that slot opened up. And this side is way lower than that other side. Our goal is to make it match. So here's the trick. I'm gonna lift the mower up like I just explained. I'm gonna hold it there for a second. And I'm gonna put my tool 
that we talked about earlier that we know is perfect on that side right underneath the bed knife and if you come around here get some things out of your way i'm going to slide it right under the bed knife where i had it on the other side and i'm going to move these tools the way and i'm going to look and i'm going to tap the mower down until right there if you look the tool is underneath the bed knife in the same location that it was on the other side that means both of these sides of bed knife is equal once i have that adjusted and i feel good about it i can move it in and out i mean it's spot on now i'm going to come back over here and i'm going to tighten this combination of nut and bolt and i'm going to make this really tight because honestly i don't want there to be any chances this comes off in front of the reel i've never seen it happen I don't want to be the first. So let's go ahead and keep tightening this guy up. Oh, there it is. So folks, just like that, it's a little hot, summertime. Just like that, we were able to adjust the left and right side. We made this side, which was a little bit lower, about a millimeter, now perfect. And the way I double checked that, is we got our light right here, we got my tool. You see it slides right underneath that bed knife in the very back half, up, back corner of it. Let's go to the other side. We'll get our tool. You can see with the lights, slides right underneath it. Perfect. Now let's go mow. <clears throat> Last thing I'll say. If you ever feel like for any reason a particular side is cutting low, you saw how quickly I was able to adjust that. I mean, this is one of those things where you don't have to be exactly the most scientific person. It is a lawnmower and we want to be very precise. But if I consistently saw the right side of my mower cutting high or low, and only, honestly guys, you saw that in about two minutes, you can make a quick adjustment and just go try to mow a section until you see it looking perfect. Or you can use a tool and make it locked in. That's how you adjust the front roller. If we need to adjust the back roller, we'll make another video for that so that we can keep these videos kind of short. Have a great day. Let us know if you have any questions.